Hello and welcome to this Kasambi tutorial. In this session, we'll cover animations. Animations consist of multiple existing basic scenes that are activated in a defined sequence. To create an animation, you first need to create all the basic scenes that you wish to use as steps in the animation. You can find more information about basic scenes in the Creating Basic Scene tutorial. Here we already have red, green and blue scene. After the basic scenes are made, you can create the animation. Select Edit and then the plus in the top right of the Scenes tab. Give a name and select Add an animation. Next, you need to add the animation steps. Steps are either scenes or wait times. With wait times, you can determine how long the light level stays on the previous steps before crossfading to the next step. When the animation scene is activated, the steps will follow the listed order from top to the bottom. You can rearrange the order of steps by dragging and dropping them from the three lines on the right. In our example, there are six steps. Three scenes, red, green and blue, and wait times in between the scenes. Each scene used in an animation has a fade time and a dim level. To change the dim level and fade time, select the scene step in the animation. The fade time determines how long it will take for the scene to reach the set dim level or crossfade from previous step. The dim level is the dimming percentage relative to the original dim level set in the basic scene. For example, if the basic scene had lights on at 100% and you set the dim level in the animation to 50%, then the scene will only fade to 50% instead of 100. Tap Done when finished. I have set all fade and wait times to 1 second. This means that it will take 1 second for the red scene to fade to 100% and then it will stay there for 1 second before crossfading to green in 1 second and so on. There are three options what can happen when the animation runs to the end. If you don't want the animation to repeat, then the lights can either fade off or remain at the light level of the last step. I will set our animation to repeat. At the bottom of the configuration view, you can also rename the animation, change the icon and its color. It's also possible to hide the scene so that it does not appear in the Scenes tab for users. When you have finished editing the animation, select Done to save it. The animation icon will display the total time of the animation and an infinity symbol if the animation has been set to repeat. When you activate the animation, the lights will follow the sequence you created. Further information can be found from our support website and in our app user guide. You can also sign up for our free online training courses on our website. Thanks for watching.